Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video. <laughs> Today I'm coming at you from my vanity so maybe I'm gonna figure out a way to film these makeup videos after all. This is in the same position that it had been before but I'm actually facing my ring light towards my mirror and then the light is illuminating my face. Um, Otherwise, it's just like really shadow casting and it doesn't really work out. So we'll see if this works out. I don't think I filmed an official video where you guys see my hair. It's kind of fading the purple and it's kind of dirty. But girl, this is the hair that I'm rocking currently. I actually think I might pull it up, but I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's more like a violety color. It looks kind of red in that light. I don't know, each time I have purple hair, I feel like it looks maroony or red in video, but this is purple. It's purple. It's purple. Anyways, today, as you guys can tell from the title, your girl's giving you a story time. I don't typically do story times on this channel, but if you're new to this uh, channel, hey girl, hey, what's up? Um, if you like the vibe, girl, subscribe, it's free, so yeah. Anyways, so this story time took place um, almost two months ago for Nate and Amaret's wedding, Janie and I. We went to go get our toes done. I guess it's been closer to like a month and a half maybe, but you know. Um, and I told you guys, do you guys want the tea? Do you guys want a story time? Do you guys want to hear about what happened when we went to go get our toes done? You guys responded with yes, or at least some of you did. So, um, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I feel like I'm being super formal and it doesn't have to be super formal. So about two months ago, Janie and I, we were going to go get our toes done. We actually went to a place here that's not too far from our home. It's a place that, um, since we moved here, that would be our second time going. Um, if you guys don't know me very well, um, I... I'm not a licensed nail tech, but during the pandemic, I did pick up some nail tools, girl, and went ham on my nails. So, um, since the pandemic, I hadn't really been to too many nail salons. I typically do my nails myself. That is like my fingernails, my toes. I will do them myself, girl. And if I might add myself, I do a pretty good job at it, but... Anyway, so all that to say, I don't really go to nail techs very often. This was going to be our second time that we had actually gone um, to that nail salon. It's actually a really nice nail salon and like spa. They had like chandeliers. It was like look serving bougie. And I, before I get into our experience the second time, I really have to go in on the experience we had the first time. The first time we had gone to this nail salon, girl, we had such a nice time, such a pleasurable time. I ended up leaving that place and I believe I did a Google review. I don't think I did a Yelp, but I did do a Google review. Um, so shout out to Tony. Tony was the nail tech um, that first time we went. And I don't even remember when the first time was that we went. We've only lived here since July. So it, it hasn't even been a year. I think it's been like nine months. So over the course of nine months, this was going to be our second time. The first time we went, I'm just going to segue just a little bit. The first time we went, like, number one, the place that we went to is gorgeous. And I was low-key scared, like, what am I fixing to pay for? Like, this is going to be expensive because this place is really, really nice. It ended up being like regular pricing for the area. Um, but I was like, ooh, gotta prepare my wallet. I'm gonna be picking the cheapest pedicure or whatever the case was. And that time I think we did get the cheapest pedicure and I didn't get gel polish. But two gentlemen worked on our toes. That was the only thing that we got done that day. And uh, it was an older guy, he did Janie's toes and then a younger. <laughs> more handsome guy did my toes and I wasn't mad about it he was very talkative he was very sweet they gave us wine to drink they offered us you know the typical things that they offer whenever you go to a nail salon and just the overall experience was top-notch I'd say impeccable chef's kiss 
<laughs> like it was a really really nice experience so much so that I wrote a review fast forward this past February about mid to late February we end up um, going to the nail salon to get our toes done and Jenny was gonna also get her nails done I didn't want my nails done I decided I was gonna paint them myself because I have all the things here for me to do so I wasn't gonna put on gel extensions like I typically do it was just gonna be a paint job um, so we go to the nail salon, they see us right away, they tell us to go have a seat in the pedicure chairs, and as we're waiting, I'm looking around, I don't see Tony, the guy that did my toes the last time, or the other guy, all I see are females there, which, I mean, that's fine, but if you're fat, you kind of know, like, you need a man to do your feet in a way, because, like, you're thick, your leg is thick, your foot is thick, your foot is big, like, you need some muscles that's the only reason why I noticed I think that they were not here because I've been getting my nails done long enough to know that they be sizing you up they'd be like oh girl you big let me get the guy to do your feet you know what I mean you don't want no tiny I say tiny because most of the nail techs are at least around these parts and you guys can tell me about in your parts <laughs> but in these parts most of the nail techs are Asian and just you know just you know science what I know about Asian people typically they're smaller stature and they're women just like biologically women in general tend to have a smaller frame body than men do that's the same case for Asian people in most cases that I find so anyways there were some small Asian women that were going to do our feet now I just had in my head that they weren't going to do as good of a job, but I was hopeful because I had such a pleasurable experience the first time that they were going to do a great job this time. Now, before we even started getting our toes done and before they even offered any, us anything to drink, we're waiting. While we were waiting, like they were asking us what we wanted done and I kind of felt like they asked me multiple times if I wanted to get my fingernails done. I did not want my fingernails done. I was going to paint them myself. And if you guys know me or you don't know me, now you're going to know me. The thing that I absolutely dread the most and am an anti against a nanny nail salon is me getting my toes done and my fingers done at the same time because in my experience I won't say always and in every place but in my experience what they try to do is to do your fingernails and your toes simultaneously not one after the other while you're getting your toes done and I typically like, you know, fancy, blingy, nice nails, long nails, acrylic nails, arty nails. And so, yeah, I don't want a shit job done because my hand's halfway hanging off over here and my toes being pulled this way. Like, I'd rather not. So, absolutely, when you're asking me if I want my fingernails done as I'm sitting in a pedicure chair, I'm absolutely going to tell you no. Well, Janie was getting that service and um, while we were waiting for them to set up and get ready, like I said, they came up to me, multiple women came up to me more than one time um, to ask me if I wanted my fingernails done and I did not. Well, um, and them setting up, etc. And you guys can tell me if I'm a fucking bitch, but I already know I'm a fucking bitch. But I don't know. You guys can tell me if I was wrong. But I can't change the past. <laughs> Maybe in future, uh, I guess, in the future I can take into consideration what you guys have to say. To say if I was, you know, crazy. But I will say that me as a person, I don't know if it translates through YouTube. Because I know because of my job, I feel like I can't be my absolute, true, authentic self. Um, that happens more so like on my Instagram that happens more so in personal conversations one-on-one -on -one when you guys jump in the DMs and I say Instagram because I always post mean memes of like how a bitch truly feels and I kind of feel like on YouTube um, for whatever reason like I feel like there has to be a little bit of a filter there all that to say it's not new to anybody who knows me in person, but it may be new to you guys. I I can be a bitch. I am a bitch. 
I can be rude. I can be short. I can be cutthroat, if you will. But in Spanish, the word that I would describe myself as, que no me dejo. I will not let somebody run over me. I will not allow for somebody to talk shit about me and me not say anything. No me dejo. Well, we were there and in the we're back at the nail salon, guys. So we're at the nail salon. They're getting ready. They're preparing. They're prepping to do our feet, to get the stuff to do Jay's nails. And um, while we're there, I noticed that in between them asking me if I want my nails done, in between them prepping, they're speaking either Chi Mandarin, I was going to say Chinese, you know, Mandarin, Vietnamese, whatever it is. Whatever language that they speak, they're speaking it. <clears throat> and me in that moment, like, it, 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 it happened and it continued. And it was evident that they were having a conversation about us. And I don't know if it's the part of me that I have always been in a larger body, a bigger body, that I'm always on alert or aware of my surroundings and what people's reactions towards me and um, I guess towards me I was gonna say about me but towards me so I was already kind of on alert because my brain is conditioned to be that way and this is not making excuses for myself but I I saw I heard I was watching them interact with one, one another I, it was evident they were having a conversation about us and it was they were speaking a language that I did not know so in that moment I was like is there a problem like is everything okay they're like yeah it's okay it's okay it's okay and I was just like okay well, you know, basically in so many words, I don't remember, it's been two months, but in so many words, I basically said, you know, you're, you're, it's evident that you guys are talking about us and you're speaking a language that we don't know. So I'm just trying to make sure that everything is good, basically. In the moment, the girl that was carrying like the tub for the pedicure or whatever, she was at a loss for words. She didn't know what to say. And I'll be the first to admit that I speak Spanish and... <laughs> I have, uh, you know, on occasion talked shit about somebody in Spanish. It happens. But because I speak Spanish and because I know that's the case and because everything was pointing to they're talking about me, bitch had something to say. So I did. Um, and I will say to also go with that when I'm speaking Spanish and there's somebody around who doesn't understand, if I'm not talking shit about them, then I'm more than likely willing to translate, like to tell them, to reassure them. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever, you know, if if you speak another language, what experience do you guys have with that? But in that moment, like bitch came out, I was not about to have somebody talking shit about me right before you're going to do my feet. Like we can cut this shit out right now like if you got a problem with me then bitch does not have to sit in this chair and pay you 60 fucking dollars to do my damn toes so she kind of just was like caught off guard that I would even even bring it up I guess and then she went on to explain like no the reason we were asking you is because it's my turn to do a manicure but she also really wants to do a manicure and because they were close to closing time i assume she was basically trying to ask her if she could do janie's manicure which basically made sense because that was the reason why they were coming up to me multiple times trying to get me to get my nails done now <laughs> It didn't end there. So then that made the rest of our experience awkward as fuck. So in my vlog where I'm talking about getting my toes done and I'm literally sitting in the pedicure chair. Getting our nails done. That was literally like five minutes after that happened. Awkward as fuck. Let me just say that because I just was like matter of fact like is everything okay because it looks like you guys are fucking talking about us basically um and I didn't curse but yeah and um then they proceed to put like this two by four with these little slants kind of like a little table across Janie like I don't know if you guys can see like 
like this across so she's like getting her toes done and her hands are on this two by four and Janie is short AF. Janie's like 5'2". So imagine being in a pedicure chair, getting your back massage, like trying to relax, trying to go back, having your nails like this, having someone like try to like do your nails like this. Number one, worst nightmare ever. It's the thing I hate the most. But also, um, what you guys may have not been able to see in the video. And Janie, I I'll say this, Janie's just too fucking nice. Janie's too fucking nice because she sat for her entire pedicure with this wooden piece going across here, but that wooden piece could barely fit at the edge here. And it was against her body here. That was not comfortable for her. Like she could not really relax to enjoy the pedicure. And because she's short in stature, like she's, you know, it's a reach for her. And like her arms, it's a reach from her too. The lady, the lady sat over here like on a little stool the entire time instead of like standing. Or trying to accommodate Janie, she was making Janie accommodate to her. And because Janie's so short, like it was a hard reach and stuff. So I sat there the whole time and I like, number one, thank God, I'm not getting my nails done because I would be triggered as fuck and then number two like Janie's just too fucking nice she just didn't look comfortable the entire time and if you guys remember that vlog at the end like Janie didn't even show us her nails because and I don't even know what they look like till this day because she didn't show me um she goes no because you're just gonna get mad and you're gonna tell them something because apparently she had messed up one of the nails. It was crooked. She tried getting her to fix it and she didn't fix it. And they weren't even acrylics. It was literally just a manicure. Um, so I think it was the way the gel polish was applied essentially. Um, so that was Janie's experience pretty much. And I ended up getting French tip toes, a gel polish. And the, the lady who did mine was an older small Asian lady. And I mean, I felt for her, but girl, when you're fat, you also try to help those nail techs out. Like you're, you're holding your own damn leg up and shit. Anyways, um, so she ends up doing my nails and I'm watching her and she's doing a pretty damn good job as far as the French tip goes. And somehow she managed to get white gel polish like on my shins, on my calves and like on my feet somehow between her paintbrush and stuff like random specs and she had gotten some like around my toes or on my foot and she used like nail polish remover makes sense nail polish nail polish remover it removed the nail polish then by the time i i know it like i'm just chilling on my phone she's doing her thing all of a sudden like she's rubbing a fucking file on my leg literally running a file on my leg so and then, I don't even think I have a file in here. <coughs> oh. I do have a file. Oh, it's not the same kind, though. I don't have one just like hers, but literally, she had a fucking file. And she's, like, rubbing it on my calf, on my leg. Like, buffing off with a file the gel nail polish that had gotten on my leg. And I was sitting here, like, what the fuck? She, I, basically telling me that she's sorry. I'm not gonna even, I was almost gonna, like, do her accent or try to make an accent for her. But I'm not gonna do that. So, um... Yeah, she was using this to try to buff it off. And literally days later, I still felt like scratches on my leg. Honestly, honestly, it was just not the best experience. It was still like a good pedicure overall. Like the outcome was good. Like I liked it and I kept it for like over a month. But it's like, honestly, it's just the customer service was not there. And I don't know if whenever I saw Tony not there or them not being there that I automatically thought it was going to be a negative experience. I was hopeful, even though I kind of felt like, damn it, you know, the person who gave me the great experience last time's not here. Um, so I don't know if it has anything to do with that. 
um, but it just wasn't a great experience. And I think that's kind of typical for like when you go to a, a nail place for them to talk, uh, to speak other languages. And sometimes it is about you, but I will be the bitch to be straight up like, is everything okay? Are you able to do it? Like, don't talk shit about me. Or about the situation, if you're speaking to me in English and they're speaking to their customers in English, then clearly you can speak English, you're choosing not to. That's rude. Um, so, anyways, I guess, comment down below your craziest nail experience, I guess. Have you had a bad nail experience? Was this minor? That's the worst thing I could complain about, that she got gel polish on me and then scraped it off with a file. Or that Janie was like basically uncomfortable and squished her entire manicure and pedicure. Um, I guess comment down below and let me know. Um, yeah, this was my story time about the time I went to go get my nails done and Tony wasn't there. No, where well, they were talking shit about me. Anyways, I guess until next time, um, yeah, I guess until next time, bye! Yeah, you can see my hair now. Purple hair, don't care. Purple hair, don't care. You guys like it? It's kind of faded now compared to what it what had been. Purple hair, don't care, and it's really dirty.